Hello friends and welcome to Defense Matrix. Today, let's talk about a particularly interesting topic. One that's very important but strangely not much discussed. The LCA Tejas Mark 1A is a very important aircraft for the Indian Air Force, and we're suggesting that it's probably the most suitable aircraft in the world for the unique role that it's meant to play. Let's look more closely at why this may be. On July 31st, CNN News reported that Japan's air self-defense forces have had to scramble their jets more often than any other country in response to daily Chinese intrusions. The report included a graph of the flight pattern of Chinese aircraft around Japan, which you can see is quite extensive. Look at the sea of red that represents Chinese air activity. This is forcing Japan to scramble their F-15s an average of two to three times every single day. And each time this happens, four jets are scrambled. And this is gradually wearing out the F-15J fleet. Note that China has six times more fighters than Japan and could further ramp up intrusions whenever it decides to. In a way, it's China that's deciding the in-service life of Japan's fleet, and that's been a concern for the past several years. This is particularly problematic because Japan's fleet of fighter jets is not very large, and the same jets would have to be used repeatedly, causing accelerated wear and tear. On the other hand, China usually sends its H-6 bombers and Y-9 reconnaissance aircraft. It appears that it may be China's strategy to force these scrambles upon Japan. India should gather lessons from what is happening here because the day is not far off when China might consider using the same strategy to harass the Indian Air Force. In fact, Japan's situation is rather manageable because they have a fleet of reliable F-15s. In India's case, the Air Force uses older MiG-29s, Mirages and Su-30 MKIs which are not so reliable even though they're relatively modern. So, India's requirement is for reliable, well-priced fighters that can be operated in large numbers. As it was once famously said, quantity has a quality all its own. Even the currently sanctioned 42 squadrons are not ideal to deal with a joint China-Pakistan nexus, so numbers become very important. Additionally, there is a need for avionics and weapons systems that are modern and long-lasting. Having said all of this, let's see what the Tejas Mark 1A brings to the table. Its avionics and weapons are of modern standards. The life of the airframe is likely very good, as composite materials are extensively used. And the GE404 engine is known to be one of the most reliable engines in the world. It's a single-engine aircraft with an operating cost which is naturally lower than for twin-engine jets. The cost of acquisition is comparatively low and is expected to drop over time. And it does come with modern avionics and weapons systems that the IAF needs. So, the Indian Air Force should consider buying the Mark 1A in large numbers and soon enough because as time goes by, the pressure on older aircraft continues to mount. Another aspect is the indigenization of weapons. When jets are scrambled, weapons are mounted on the aircraft hardpoints and from then on, their life begins to deteriorate rapidly. If you keep importing weapons, you cannot bear the costs on a sustained basis. For this reason, there is a real need for indigenous weapons which are much cheaper than imported ones. If the Indian Air Force is to prepare for future warfare, indigenization is critical. There is no alternative. And the IAF, of course, will continue to procure imported aircraft to serve various roles, but for routine tasks such as patrolling and scrambling, the need of the hour is reliable aircraft in large numbers with great longevity, and Tejas fits the bill like no other. On this positive note, we come to the end of this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Jai Hind!